Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube video. This is Group 2 and we are talking about problem solving in artificial intelligence. What is problem solving? Problem solving is a process of generating solutions from observed data. There are two types of problem solving. We have the simple, predictable problem. These are the kind of problems that have clear and step-by-step -step method on how to solve them. They are like mathematical giving solution just like finding a square root to a solution or something like that and you also have a complex slash real world problems these are the kind of problems that involves AI like predicting weather phone bars light like also checking for someone's height this is the kind of problem that does not have a straightforward formula Okay, continuing from where my group members stopped, I'm going to be talking about problem space. Now, a problem space is an abstract concept that takes into account every part in solving the problem. And there are several factors to a problem space. We have one, the object. The object are the main actors of the problem state itself. Number two, we have the operators. Now, the operators are things that can change the state of the object. And we have the states. Now, the states are different configurations of the object. And therefore, we have the goal state. The goal state is the final solution. Now, putting it into account, um, for example, we have a maze. In a maze, the objects are the players and the maze itself. The operations of this are moving up, moving left, moving right, moving down. And the goal state in this is winning and passing the maze. Now, the structure of a problem space, this, the, the problem space consists of valid states that can be reached by applying different operations. That means, in a problem space, you can only do the things that you are permitted to do. If you are permitted to go up, down, left, right, you can't go under, you have to follow the specific paths. And now, we have different things in a problem space. We have the graph and we have the tree. Now, a graph in a problem space is using a graph, nodes and edges to solve the problem and the tree, drawing the representation of tree to solve the problem. I'll be discussing on GPS. Now, what is GPS? GPS means General Problem Solver. General Problem Solver is an AI program created in expertise by two developers named Alan Newell and Herbert Simeon. It was designed to solve different kind of problems. And now, how does this GPS work? Now, number one, the, the, the first thing is that it starts with the problem. This is that it defines the problem. Number two, is that it finds the differences. Number three, it chooses, it chooses an action. It picks a step closer to solving the problem. And number four is that it repeats the it repeats and keep making changes until the problem is solved. Thank you. Hi. So I'll be talking about the stages of problem solving in artificial intelligence. Now, to build a system that solves problems, first of all, we need to define the problem. Now, what do we mean by problem definition? It means we need to clearly understand the issue and what needs to be solved. Secondly, we need to analyze the problem. Now, what do we mean by this? It means we need to identify the key factors that, that impact the solution. Then we we'll move on to the third steps. With the third step, we means we need to explore different solutions on how we can solve the problem. Now, it means we need to consider different problem solving techniques. Now, lastly, we need to choose the best solution that we can use to solve that particular problem. That means we need to implement the most effective approach in solving that problem. Thank you. Yeah, so I'll be talking about problem definition. Um, to define a problem in artificial intelligence, we need to take into consideration three things. We need to take into consideration the state space. What is the state space? The state space is basically a combination of all possible configurations of that particular uh, solution or that particular problem, including the ones that are impossible and the ones that are possible. Then from the state space we have, we select the ones that are um, a good start, the ones we can actually start with, you know, to pick, to actually start solving our problems for, from. So, and that's what we call the initial state. Then thirdly, we now pick the final um, part, which is the goal state, which is the uh, reasonable solution to what we actually want to do. And um, that's, with that, we can actually start 
moving down the tree we can move further down the tree because the tree is, is, is kind of like a sash tree so we can move further down the tree and look for a path that actually leads us to the right solution with the right action thank you very much